through the band curriculum is set up kind of like a spiral. Well, they are introduced to all those foundational concepts, and then we go back and we hit it again, and then we do it again, and then we do it again as the notes and the rhythms get harder. And then we also go into the area of objective skills, which there is not a right or wrong. There's like a right way and sometimes a better way, or not as a good way, and it depends on the opinion of the performer. So this really fun um, teaching those objective skills after they've reached their foundational focus. So we're going to demonstrate some dynamics today. The full band is going to help me. We're going to play a soft section, and then we're going to play a loud section. So that was our loud and our soft skills. And then we're going to learn a little bit about legato, which is smooth and connected notes. Christopher is here to show us the right way. Yeah. And Dulce is showing us the wrong way. Now, to be clear, both of these students are exemplary at playing legato. And Dulce is also a very critical thinker, and she can do the difference between the right and the not so right way. So she's going to play just a short melody, and you're going to hear her play those notes separated and chunky, kind of, and it's not going to sound quite as good. Go ahead. Thank you. So that was the not so good way on purpose. And then the smooth and connected way. Here's our contrast. Christopher. Let's give both of these exemplary students a hand. that we're going to play next is called Chesapeake Serenade and we play it smooth and connected just like our two demonstrators did. And that's our final song for the seventh grade and then we'll do another transition for our eighth graders and our jazz band this evening. 